With the recent release of DDR5, RAM speeds have gotten much faster compared to the previous generations. Upgrading to DDR5 will require you to purchase a new motherboard, but can you still get a performance boost with the existing memory type that your system supports, whether it be DDR4 or DDR3? This is a question that we will be answering in today's video, so keep watching if you want to find out what the results will be. We will be comparing system performance using two different RAM amounts at two different speeds. The rest of the system specs, which remain the same for all testing, are shown on screen now. As operating systems and applications increase in size, a system's RAM also needs to be increased. There are also different types of RAM, but the most common ones being DDR3 and DDR4, and recently the release of DDR5. In this test, we will look at the performance of the computer with a small memory amount versus a larger amount, and also by changing the memory frequency at both of the sizes. The test configuration is a Windows 11 PC with either 8GB or 16GB of RAM, and the page file set to zero. The system does not have a discrete GPU and relies on Intel integrated graphics. The RAM being tested is a Corsair Vengeance LPX 16GB 3600MHz DDR4 in the 8x2 configuration. RAM speed was controlled in the BIOS setting, and a lower speed at 2600 MHz. Testing was done using Cinebench, Memory Benchmark, rendering a video using DaVinci Resolve, and the 7 zip performance test. First up, we'll be testing with Memory Mark. In this test, the 16 gig setup at 3600 MHz scored the highest, and the 16 gig setup at 2600 MHz scored better than the faster 8GB stick at 3600 MHz although the individual read test was marginally faster for the 8GB module at 3600MHz. Next, testing was done with Cinebench. Now this software is typically used to measure CPU performance, and as expected, most of the scores were more or less the same for all setups. The third test was with the 7-zip software. This is a popular fire compression utility, and as a bonus, it also has a benchmark option. For all the tests, the number of threads, dictionary size, and number of passes were set as the same. Again, the results show that the 16GB kit at 3600MHz was the best performer, and the 16GB stakes at 2600MHz still performed better than the single 8GB module at 3600MHz. Finally, for the last test, I used DaVinci Resolve to render a video. The same video was rendered at the same format, resolution, and frame rate. With a single 8GB stick, the rendering failed no matter the speed, so the test for 8GB at 3600MHz was done with the help of the page file, which is much slower. The 16GB kit at 2600MHz beat the 8GB stick 3600MHz by almost 33%. Even though the page file is much slower, it was necessary to complete the test. The results from these tests showed that some programs won't even run with a small amount of memory, and the others all perform better with the dual sticks of 8GB of RAM versus just one. If there is a choice between selecting more system memory or faster memory, more memory will perform better in most cases. Here is a table showing the prices of different memory modules at 4 different speeds. As you can see, more memory at slower speeds usually cost less than faster memory alone. Applying the results of these tests, a system with 32GB of RAM at 2666MHz will likely perform better than a 16GB stick of RAM at 3600MHz. Of course, this is valid only for highly memory intensive applications, as 16GB of RAM is likely already enough for most situations. Smash that like and subscribe button if you learned something from this video, and comment down below if you're planning to or just upgraded the RAM in your system. Thanks for watching!